Oh my god, quick time player. I can't tell if you're starting or not. And, what's up guys? It's Mike Bacon here from Sock Media Development. <coughs> I filmed this once already because I, I stopped because I just did this nasty cough and I didn't want you guys to have to hear that, which I've probably done like a million times in the other tutorial, so I'm sorry. Um, so if there's something in here that I didn't type in the last tutorial, I suck and just type it in and hate me. Um, so in this tutorial we're going to apply physics and we're going to have the player move with the push of an arrow key. Pretty crazy. Pretty zany, long bro. Um, so we're going to start by making a new function. Function player dot physics dt because we're going to be using delta time in here because delta time is smexy and it helps with lag kind of in a sense you could say that um so keep running away from my thoughts i'm so tired right now player dot x equals player dot x equal plus player dot x vel oh that's not a plus that's an equal plus player dot x vel which is x velocity times delta time um pretty crazy equation right here guys pretty zany long bro um and it's 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 not it's really simple it applies the player's x position to the x velocity so that when we use the x velocity it moves the player and we're gonna do the same with the player's y position um player dot y vel times delta time dt <coughs> gross gauge stop um so here we go and then last thing we need to do for physics i it's not really physics it's just something to help classify it under something, um, is apply friction. That is not friction. I had this friction thing that I got off the love 2 forms in my clipboard, but it is not there anymore. Um, I'm gonna go through the player.lua of BoQuest. Oh my god, Gage, what are you doing? You're so famous. People will steal that. Stop. Oh my god, Gage, don't. Stop. Keep stalling, Gage. Keep stalling. Okay, I found it. Uh, it's really messy. <sighs> okay. So we have that in there now so that the player, when he goes to the right or the left, he won't just keep going. He'll slow down because he has friction. See, we apply the player.friction variable right there. Um, just copy that down. It's from this super awesome guy on the left 2D forums. I wish I could remember your name, but I haven't been on my laptop in forever. Um, so I apologize for not knowing your name and giving credit to who it deserves, but it's awesome. And I've used this, uh, used this exact equation in so many of my games and thank you for letting me use it keep copying it down guys um i'm if i if i was smart i would put it in the description but i probably will forget leave a comment and i probably will or i just put it in the comment um so we need to take this and put it this player.physics and execute it because it is a function that needs executing so to do that we need to put it into the main dot lua function love dot update we need to put it into love.update so it updates with each frame. And we already have update underscore player inside of love.update. So whatever you put in here automatically go, 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 goes into love.update. So we can just put player.physics right there and it's done. It's in there. If we ran the game right now, it would have physics, but nothing would happen because what gauge? I thought we could move. And I'm like, no, because. No, <laughs> we need to make the player move. We can't just apply velocities and friction. So we're gonna make a move with function player dot move. And we're gonna use delta time again. When do we ever use that gauge? Jesus fucking Christ. Player dot x. Nope, that is not how you start this gauge. I planned a little bit. I was I was thinking a little bit about what I was gonna do for player dot move. And that's the only thing I messed up on. So we're gonna do if love.keyboard is down right so we're gonna use the arrow keys and this is gonna be him moving to the right there's a monster at my door um then and no we want to limit his speed so if you're holding down right the velocity doesn't just keep building and building this may not make sense right now but it may in a second i don't know um you have to kind of limit his velocity so that the velocity the number a velocity is going to go up when you push right and you want to make sure that it doesn't just keep going up forever because you could totally just cheat with that so we're going to give him a limit and his limit is going to be his speed variable which is 2250 so we're going to do if love.keyboard is down right so if you're pushing right and player.xvel is less than the velocity of the x is less than player.speed then player.xvel plus player.xvel plus player.speed 
times dt, delta time. Um, so this makes sure that the player speed, the x velocity goes up and then keeps, and then stops right at 2250, and then you just keep going at 2250 uh, pixels per frame or something. No, that would not even be close to it because it's being multiplied by delta time. Um, so when you do the same for the left, so if love.keyboard uh, is down, left, and now this is going to be different because you have to do if and player.xvel because when you're going to the left, you're subtracting. See here we're adding player.speed, we're going to be subtracting when you go to the left because the x number, the x right here needs to go down. Um, xvel is greater than negative player.speed, then, and now we subtract player.xvel equals player.xvel minus player.speed times dt. So now we have left and right movement almost. We need to execute this function, guys. Guys, guys, now we're done. Now the player can move left and right. Um, before I end this super fast tutorial though, I am going, oh my god, do you think I could run this? Is this the one that I'm filming right now? Oh, that'd be weird. I wonder if it would break my computer. Uh, probably not. That would just be really cool if it was like videoception and it started recording me, recording me, recording me, recording me. Gonna run the dot love. Of all the stuff we've made so far, see if he can move to the right. Error. Watch this. Error. Oh my god, I didn't get an error. Oh my god. <laughs> um, he goes left and right. That's pretty cool. It's a red box. It goes left and right. Oh my god. So, hopefully you guys feel proud of that little red box because we're gonna do so many things with that. And we're almost like, like we're getting... The farther into the tutorial, into the tutorial we go, it, it'll feel like the more you know and the more you can apply it to your own games and all this stuff you could use all at different times. And I hope, hope all this code, like, like hope I hope you can use this awesome friction thing that that guy gave to me in one of your games. Um. So one last thing we're gonna do, which is set a boundary to the player. Oh God. I need to cough, but I'm not going to. So, we need to make sure he can't go off the left side of the screen. He can go off the light, the right side of the screen because we're gonna add player. Uh, this will make sense later. <laughs> we just need to make sure he cannot go past the left side of the screen. So we're gonna make a new function called player dot boundary, and in this function we are going to test if player dot x is less than zero. And if it is, then you will say player dot x equals zero. Now you're not done because this, um, just to make it a little cleaner and a little more uh, reactive if you go back to the right after you touch the left side, if that makes any sense, you want to make sure that player.xvel equals zero so that when you hit it you stop and your x velocity does not keep going up even though you're not going anywhere. So now we put player.boundary in here and we're done. That's it. We have basic movement. Now we're going to add... I, we got a few minutes. We're gonna add uh, uh, gravity. We're gonna add gravity because it's really easy. Now, when you add gravity, you're gonna fall. And if you have nothing to land on, then you're kinda fucked. And we haven't added tiles yet. So, what we're gonna do is just set a variable in main.lua. We're just gonna call it ground level for now until we add... This is, of course, temporary until we add tiles. So ground level equals, let's just say, five hundred whatever I'm gonna say 600 actually because it's closer to the ground um, closer to the ground yes gauge it's closer to the ground um, it's totally what I meant to say player dot we're gonna go back and inside of player dot boundary we're gonna say if player dot y plus player dot height because if we were just using player dot y that'd be the top of the player is greater than ground level then player.y equals ground level minus player.height and and of course like with all these boundaries we want to do the set the velocity to zero um, so this just tests if he's greater than ground level which is a variable we just set if the y position is then we just stop him at ground level and say bitch please where the fuck are you going we're gonna stop you so yeah you know it's just basic basic bitch status we're gonna Stop him in his tracks. That's how it goes. Keep stalling, Gage. You're sick. Your voice sounds like a douchebag. That made so much sense. Okay, here we go. 
Oh, we didn't apply gravity. I'm so silly. I'm a silly willy. Let's apply gravity right now and try to play it up physics. I'm gonna say player.yvel equals player.yvel plus we're gonna have a global gravity for all entities and items. And I'm not very good at setting gravity like off the top of my head, so we're gonna probably add it and then change it and then change it and then change it and then finally get it right. Um, also, if you wanted to get more distinct, you could do something crazy like times player.mass and then each individual item and entity could have its own mass so that not everything weighed the exact same amount, but I don't think we need to do that because we're not getting too detailed with this game. So we're gonna go into main.lua, right below ground level, we're gonna set gravity, and we set two. 900. That is probably either way too much or way too little. I have no clue because, yeah, let's see how this goes. Open with love 0.8.0. Oh. oh, can't really tell with all this lag. I'll check after the video because the video makes my computer lag. But there we go. We stopped on ground level. Look at that. Like, like we could almost have a platform if you could jump. So, I'm not sure what we're going to add next tutorial. We're probably going to add camera movement and maybe start with some tiles, but I haven't done tiles in forever, and it's probably going to be really messy and disgusting. So, we're going to see how that goes. I'm going to study. I'm going to plan a little bit of the next tutorial. Hopefully, this helped. Hopefully, you can apply some of this awesome code that I taught you into one of your own games. Um, add me on Skype so we can talk, and I can help you. Maybe we could collaborate. I love to collaborate. We need to collaborate. Um, collaborate, collaborate, collaborate. Um, yeah, that's it. See you in the next tutorial.